Okay, another question. There's the question number two. Is basically the the customer agreed to leave a review through the system we may have set up, but he answers simply that they don't have a Google account, or it's too much hassle to create one review and just leave it, whatever. And uh, how do we get around this uh, problem? Uh, tell you the truth, guys, is uh, most uh, of these uh, review websites uh, are part of a system uh, and a network that's in, like CityGrid that actually accepts um, logins through uh, Facebook. So, you know, it would be great if those people had a Google account and be able to place a review on the Google Maps, on the Google Places. That'd be wonderful. If they don't, no need to panic. And that's once again what this plugin we have does. Like when they go on the website, or they have to, they have a, like a choice of several websites where they can pick and choose, click on it, and post a review. So that's and they can log in or directly to the website or via their um, uh, Facebook account. So that's and, not too much of a panic attack to have. And that's the key. I mean, the key is to give people as many choices as possible because we have to get them where they live and wherever that is. So if we force them down one path, then we may not get anything from them. But if we give them lots of choices, like the plugin does that, then at least they have, you know, they can pick the one, self-select, okay, yes, I have that account, I'll do it. Otherwise, they might look and just, you know, go away. Um, and, you know, from a from a standpoint of a business owner or from, from an SEO working with a business owner, you, you need to make sure that you get, you encourage them to get that review no matter what it takes. Hopefully they go to the website, facilitate them, put a QR code that goes right to the page that the plugin creates, make it very easy, uh, you know, and then put the URL there for people that say, what's the squiggly black and white thing? They don't know what a QR code is, but one way or another, you know, it's usually the reason that people don't get reviews, businesses don't get reviews, is they're not asking, and they're not asking in the right places. So point of sale businesses, boom, right in the customer's face, all the places walk into the business and look around and think about where your eyes go as you walk across the store and in every single one of those places you put a QR code with a web URL that goes to this page that Jerome's created on your website, on, on your client's website. It's going to make a huge difference. Yeah, I'm, um, that's the same, you know, and that's what the whole, that, uh, that the plugin we created is actually the purpose of it is to uh, leave those reviews on the website, whether it's HTML website or a WordPress website, you can leave uh, the, those reviews in there, but then also it invites them, encourages them to leave those reviews on the website by just one click of a button, they end up in there. And then they log in through Facebook, and boom, they're in there. And um, a good way to do this is actually uh, educate the people, because it's always a problem of education. Hey, you pick up the email address of, uh, of uh, the client, the customers, you know, but in a form, when they fill in the form, just please, would you leave us your, uh, I don't do, I don't do QR codes. I don't like QR codes, I think. I don't use them, I don't, I don't say, if I don't use them, I don't see who should use them. But I think they're going to die soon. I don't see the, I don't know. I don't believe in it, whatever. But um, what you can do is get the old school stuff. You get the email address from the people when in the invoice. And then simply next step, you send them an email. Would you mind leaving us a review? Da, 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 da. If it's a courtesy email for, uh, uh, for customer satisfaction. If you are satisfied this and that, would you mind leaving a review? It really helps us in this business, so on and so forth. And then you send them to your website where there's a bunch of other reviews. And on the bottom of it, uh, they can go and log in and simply uh, put a review. That's the whole idea behind uh, this plugin. So uh, it's not something to be too worried about. You know, if people are aware that, you, that you're going to be asking uh, for reviews, Google having or not having a Google account is not the stopping point. If they don't have a Google account, uh, you can log in with uh, different uh, Hotmail accounts, whatnot, or simply log in through Facebook. I mean, just about everybody got or a Gmail account or has a Facebook account. So in the great majority, you will find, you know, somebody desirous to leave a review, they find a way. And if they really don't, you know what? Shoot a video, make a video review and put a video testimonial. Have everybody, exactly. everybody on your staff should have, you know, an iPhone or a video capable phone, or they should have those flip phones that cost 150 bucks. And would you mind if we do this? We put it on your website. We we'll really appreciate it. it. Will help us if you really were satisfied. And if the cost, if your client is not doing horrible job, and they, they can smile every so often, usually the answer will be yes. Yeah, it's, and it's, it goes to what I was saying earlier is that you just have to ask. And I love that idea. I have my plumber do that. He goes out with every one of his guys, has a flip phone and a flip cam, I should say, and goes out and records after a job's done, and it works great. Excellent. All right, we're going to tackle the question number three, and uh, that's it.